Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Now, welcome to a brand new mini series uh, that it's Huzzy on North America. So, I'm going to be on my North American account, which is the same name as my EU West account, Huzzy. And we're going to play some ranked. Uh, now, I have not played on this account for a couple years, uh, but before we get into it, I just thought I'd explain that this video is sponsored by Haste. Uh, we worked with them last month, and you guys seem to enjoy it, and a lot of you kind of saw the benefits of it. Uh, but just to explain what Haste is, Haste is a software that you can install right now for free. It is ending soon, the free open beta, but you can download it right now for free and see if it works for you. And what it should do, if it works, is reduce your lag, reduce your ping. So you can see right now, my ping is probably jumping around a lot because I'm in Europe connecting to North America. Some days, like, I think my ping is actually higher than it was last time I did, like, the same recording of this, probably because there's higher traffic at the moment. Um, So... Yeah, that's just the way that it goes. So what I'm going to do before we get into the actual ranked gameplay is I'm going to turn haste on. Really simple. Uh, bear with me. I'm going to turn haste on. Haste. Okay, so what it'll do, it'll actually disconnect me uh, momentarily in the game of League of Legends. Again, like I mentioned last time, is when you are actually going to play League, don't do this. Don't reconnect midway through. Actually connect when, like, have haste running before you go in game. In the commentary that I'm about to record, I will be running haste before I get into the game. So we are reconnecting. The ping goes straight up. We just reconnected. And then what you should start to see is the ping going down. Now, again, I think last time we got to around 97 ping. Uh, but again, the, the, with us being higher ping than I think last time, the traffic of today's server might be a bit higher. Uh, but we're at already 102, 101, so we are around the 100. That's fine. So yeah, last time I think when I did the exact same slot, when I reconnected that, I think we actually got down to like 98. Unfortunately, today we're not breaking up like less than 100. Oh, we just did. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's a live demonstration of haste working. Pretty good, to be honest. We just saved 20 to 25 MS on average. Uh, so try it out. Link down below. But the rest of the commentary, I'm going to be playing on North America on my Smurf account using haste. Hey guys, Huzzy here bringing you another video. Now welcome back to Huzzy on NA. Uh, so we're on my North American account, Smurf. Uh, we're still in placements. I have played a couple more since the last uh, episode that you guys saw of Annie. Uh, and just to remind you, you probably saw a sponsor slot, but this video is sponsored by Haste, uh, a service that can reduce your ping and jitter on the North American server. Now, as you can tell, I am streaming live on Twitch right now. Uh, I thought let's just do a bit of chat interaction. I'm streaming anyway. I'm playing on my North American account. So let's get a nice stream in. Uh, Banwise, let's just get rid of Yasuo. Why not? Uh, so Banwise is on my team, Zed, Zack, uh, Wukong, Yasuo, and Vi. We'll see the enemy bands in a second. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, the, the North American out just to see in placements uh, from where we left off is now, I believe, five wins, one loss. So from the episode that you guys saw of the Annie, we won one, lost one. Um, so it, it's not bad at all. Uh, so hopefully we'll get another win under our belt. Heimerdinger lock in. Wow, okay. Um, but I will say, like, again, this is going to be a kind of a fun side climbing series. You guys really enjoyed the episode one. And again, if you enjoy this episode, make sure you throw a like on the video because it just lets me know that you guys are still enjoying the uh, series. And um, you want to see the differences between the servers, basically. That, that's the basic idea of this series is you get to see what uh, we just did a completed unranked diamond. And now we'll be going through the same ranks in this series and you can see if there are any differences obviously i'll point them out myself but uh yeah i don't exactly know what i'm gonna play uh because it could be high mudding a mid uh again we will have around 100 ping so we always have to kind of have that in the back of our mind uh but i think i might just lock oh they banned fizz mm, i was gonna play fizz we need something that can kind of just do okay and isn't like relying purely on like instinct instant reactions which uh there's not many champions that fall into that category unfortunately um like annie is like the, the perfect champion if you've got high ping but obviously we're not going to do another annie episode so i guess we'll do hell let's do a morgana mid again we're going to play a little bit of weirder stuff in this series it's it's not necessarily playing the strongest champions in the game. It's about what's playing best for the current situation with 100 ping. So this is where I think this series could be useful. Not even if you're like, oh, I wonder what North American is like. And North American server is like. This, uh, this series could be useful to anybody with high ping. 
because you'll look at what these champions, what I do, and what specific champions that I'm going to be playing. So yeah, uh, yes. Well, apparently there is um, there is a a rumor that Riasso is actually getting a rework of some kind, which I'm I'm completely fine with. Again, the the, the hate or whatever you want to call it from Yasuo it's there for a reason like it's it, it doesn't it's not made up like people do dislike that champion for a specific reason also why do we have a Tristana top lane okay um interesting obviously we are lower rated on this account so we've got to kind of expect weirder stuff I guess uh but yeah the yes we hate is for a reason and apparently there is going to be a rework and all they got to do is just make him less obnoxious like the wind wall that blocks every single projectile for like however many seconds that's just obnoxious uh but anyway oh i've got a I, I got it we're, we're good don't worry about it let's go to the loading screen we break down today's game okay welcome to the loading screen this is our user website lolskill.net and as you can see my team has a 51.7 percent chance to win but let's break it down they have a gold two Caitlyn, Gold 5 Lee, Gold 3 Jax, Gold 5 Hymer, and a Gold 2 Bard. On my team, Gold 4 Janna, Gold 3 Tristana, top lane, looks to be like a one trick with it. An unranked Morgana as myself, have uh, have not even played a champion either, obviously. A Gold 3 Draven with very high deaths in 180 ranked games. He's dad, woo. Okay, and a uh, Gold 3 Jarvan top. So this game is going to be a little bit weird because we've got weird champions in it. We've got a Heimerdinger. Then we've got a Tristana top lane, and then we've got a Draven that dies a lot more than he gets kills, and he's got 180 ranked games played. So this should be interesting. Uh, but yeah, without much further ado, let's get into it. We'll be playing Morgana mid. Okay, welcome to the games today. We are playing Morgana in the mid lane versus Heimerdinger. He has opted for teleport, which you'd probably kind of expect, to be honest. And uh, yeah... I'm a little bit weirded out by the top lane. Uh, if I was that Jax, honestly, I'd have a smile on my face. Uh, because all I would have to do, really, is just survive. Uh, and then outscale. Thunderlords! <laughs> How you doing? Why is no one here? Draven and Janna were here. That guy was dead. That's okay. Uh, obviously, if you missed uh, Champion Select, we are streaming on Twitch right now, so I will be occasionally looking at Twitch chat. Uh, if if it's kind of a boring game, uh, then I'll look for questions and stuff in the chat. Other than that, I will be concentrating on playing. And uh, yeah, I hope to get a wind under our belt. I'm playing Morgana mid, which is a bit of a weird pick as well. Like I said, there's weird picks this game, which includes mine. Morgana's not a meta mid laner. I picked it because uh, I have to think of picks that not only are good but also i can work with around 100 ping again i'm even streaming right now so that is even going to make my ping go higher so i'm just going to be smart about it basically now the cool thing about morgana in this matchup is i think i'm going to max w usually you want to max q but if i max w then i think i'll be able to kill his towers in one pool i believe um, because Heimerdinger, again, I've played Heimerdinger quite a lot over the years. Honestly, he probably will make an appearance in this series because he's not reliant on ping and stuff. Um, Thunderlord's proc. Uh, but he's a big pusher. His towers automatically push, so I kind of need something to do, like, something against that. And that's where maxing pool on Morgana could work quite well. Like, again, you can see my pool is actually hitting both turrets. Imagine if my pool was doing a lot more damage. Boom, the turrets would be dead in one pool. So that works quite nicely. Oh, I thought that would die before. Damn, I mucked that up. So even though, like, you know, I'm trying to push against him, he's still pushing into me. So there's not a lot I can do about that in the early game. Are you kidding me? No, I might be dead. I'm dead. Damn it! I mugged that up really badly. I don't think I can blame that on the ping. I, bl I blame that on the lack of range. Holy moly. That was really bad from me. So one auto attack would have killed Heimerdinger. Mate, I, I don't know if I flashed too late or I just wasn't in range. Damn, that's really bad. Okay. Also, bot lane died too, which isn't good. Hmm. So Draven is already raging at the Janna. That's not a good sign. Alright. Yeah, hashtag EU plays, right? Alright. 
All right, let's go for the shield. Top lane looks to be having a little bit of a brawl. Stop it. Yeah, my chat in on this account, I know, is placed really, really high. Um, what? Okay, so again, we are lower rated, but what is the reason that a bard runs to mid lane and is pushing the lane? What? I'm confused. If you was high mitting you wouldn't want that, really. But, okay. <laughs> um, so he doesn't get, like, a huge advantage. He just gets an amp tome. So it's not like he's just going to automatically win everything now. I just got to play that better. That was just a really bad play by me. It's that simple. No, he had flash. Holy moly, I'm getting owned. And Draven died again. Hmm. This game is not looking good. I thought Lee Sin might have used flash in the fight they had top lane. <coughs> Damn, this is going poop. But it's okay. Games do go poop occasionally, no matter what you do. Or don't do. Uh, so we did see, just to kind of, like, I know some people say, oh, don't talk about bad play when you're playing bad yourself. I'm still going to. The Draven we did see in his 180 ranked games, he dies on average nearly 10 times a, 10 times a game. So obviously, even though he probably loves Draven, probably Draven just isn't a champion that he should probably be playing, because that's a lot of deaths. Uh, so he's probably going on track of what he normally does, is just dying way too much in this game as well. And, uh, yeah... Damn, if Jarvan was there, man. That was a kill. I don't know why he's waiting there. I don't think he's going to gain anything by waiting there. Than the diagram. Mm. Oh, he's killing himself. Giving him the shield to get the knockup. No. Whoa, that hit me. Damn. If Jarvan got the knock-up here, like he actually didn't get the knock-up, we would have got the kill. It's okay, though. I think we can win this game by outscaling. We do have two AD carries. If we can protect those AD carries, then this can we can potentially win. Oh, God. The bot lane is struggling big time, too. Okay, half health from one combo. It's a good sign. Again, when I'm level 6, I should be able to just, like, run into him and basically kill him, I would think. Or kill him before level 6. So, like, I, 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 not, I wasn't, like, thinking I was going to lose this lane by any means. I just played it, like, really weird in the early game. But that's going to happen occasionally. Javan! Free kill. You didn't. He did. He auto-attacked the plant and blew himself away. Holy moly. Oh. So what Draven is saying, again, like, I don't mean to be mean to the guy or anything like that. I doubt that guy's been diamond. He's played 180 games of Draven and has a negative KD. As Draven? Like, if you're a diamond level Draven playing in gold, you, you don't die more than you get kills. Like that, you know, you just don't. Um, so I, I kind of doubt it. He goes for a 2v1 by himself, obviously, again. Oh, it's a kill. Or not. This is a confusing game. But okay. Alright, let's just mute the Draven and the Janna. Because they're probably going to have like an EastEnders episode in chat. I'm going to max one in Q. Because I do need some just initial oomph damage. 
And right now we don't really have a lot of that. Where's the Heimerdinger gone? Did he go get blue? He did. No. I don't know why he didn't flash earlier. Because, like, he would... Like, I could, I would have just flashed after him, but... Like, yeah. He blew flash when he was already dead. So, we're going to slowly start winning this, this lane again. Again, we made some very basic mistakes in the early game. The, the biggest mistake that we made was obviously the, the, the kill. The first kill that he got when we flashed to get that one auto attack and we weren't in range. I don't know if, like, we were in range at one point and I flashed too late. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, or what? Like, maybe that happened. But, uh, yeah. They should back off because I'm on my way. But they don't back off. So, yeah, the just basic, basic decision-making mistakes from the bot lane, really, is, ca is causing them to lose the lane. Um, so, yeah. And there's Lee Sin's. Lee Sin's down here. Don't think Jarvan knew. He got the knock-up. No, Jarvan, you saw my auto attack. No, Lee Sin's level 5. We can kill these people, I'm pretty sure. Um, We should have got in. Jarvan, why are you backing off? Uh, Lee Sin's level 5 and Jarvan's running away from a level 5 Lee Sin. I don't know why he ran away from a level 5 Lee Sin. Alright, Draven's going mid lane. That's fine. Maybe that's a better place for him to be. If he dies, like, he's 1 on 5, by the way, everybody. Like, this guy is feeding really badly. Um, But again... I don't think it would take a, a fortune teller to kind of guess what that Draven does. He just dies a lot. That's his playstyle. Okay, Heimerdinger should be dead. He doesn't have flash or anything. Cool. Alright, dead. I might just stay bot lane. Janna should not actually come with me. Go mid, Janna. Stay away. Like, is she just going to stay, like, with me now? Like, again, it's really dumb if she stays with me because I need solo XP as a Morgana. Uh, she should be mid lane. But maybe she just doesn't understand. Again, this is lower rating, so we are with people that don't understand as much. And obviously, I did mute her. But again, if people, are, like, some people get confused. Whenever you, you mute, mute people, they can still see what you're saying, you know. I'll take it. One kill. So I'm getting fed slowly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, let's like, see. People in Twitch chat are getting confused. If you mute somebody, they can still see what you say. I don't know how people get confused over that point, but they do. Um, they only cannot see what you say if they mute you. They, you know. So Janna is still seeing what I type. Nice, Tristana. Um, okay, mid lane is actually struggling really badly. Hopefully they can do something again. I don't know why Janna's with me. It doesn't make sense. She should actually be helping uh, the mid lane. It just, it, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Some say I'm the confused one. It's been the same for eight years in League of Legends. Um, the muting system hasn't changed for eight years. Right, I'm waiting for this. But yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, let's get this. How's the farm? Oh god, 57 farm. I know, like, everybody's farm's not great, but yeah, uh, I guess that's what you get for 1 and 5. See, he shouldn't go cull if he's, like, a... a like... Let's just say he's a very aggressive Draven player. Let's just let's be the polite version of it, right? If he's a very aggressive Draven player, he should never go cull because the the chances of him dying a lot because of how aggressive he plays is really really high.
Well, we did pretty good there, but we just didn't really have a much backup. Wait. I was like, where did Tristana go? Go, leapfrog. Damn, I couldn't hit the Caitlyn. I don't know what Bard did. Like, Bard just kind of fell asleep or something. I'm not sure. Oh, I mucked that up. Yeah, like, again, I think we're going to win this game. I'm pretty confident. It's just the early game was really weird. I'm on 100 ping. Not, you know, I am using haste. Uh, obviously, I'm streaming at the same time of playing. Haste usually gets me down to about 99 ping. But while streaming, obviously, that takes a little bit more out of the connection as well. So, yeah. If I wasn't using haste while streaming, my ping would probably be around 125, 130. Next item is going to be probably Zonya. Like, I might have been able to go the Rod of Ages build this game, but... Meh. If, if they went for that, by the way, they could have turned. You have a level 11 Tristana with you. Like, she'd probably wreck people. A fitting prize. Um, Push the share button. Better late than never, right? Thanks, dude. That's a $25 Twitch sir. Appreciate it. All right, let's go kill Heimerdinger. They're punishing the Lee Sin. Hopefully, they'll kill him. Well, that was his ultimate. Walking... St oh, boy. Oh, you get his flash. I don't know if it's worth Tristana's flash. And by the way, Dra uh, Jackson this whole time is just split pushing like crazy. Wait. Oh, I was comf I was cocky that that was landing. So I backed off. Take the kill! Oh, this Janna derp moment. Oh, thank God. She should have just took it. When everybody's health is really low, don't be greedy about who takes the kills. Even if you're the support, just take the kill. Just, just take it. It's... Ugh. Because that's, that's just a free kill for Heimerdinger and a free death for me. That should never happen. Boy. But yeah, they're spreading us really thin, the enemy team. The enemy bot lane is just staying bot lane. Jax is just staying top lane. And Heimerdinger is staying mid lane. So, so we have to be in like three or four places at once. And our team comp doesn't really want to do that. We kind of want to jump on people and just kill them. It's okay. Uh, the bot lane might still be here somewhere. Tristana doing quite well, though. Uh, the Lee Sin's also having a bit of a rough game. Like, he bought Poacher's Dirk, which I think is a little bit weird for this guy's playstyle. He hasn't been invading a lot. Oh, go Draven! Heimerdinger died, actually, before Draven used that heal. And they got another kill. I'm just going to stay bot lane and just push it then. Like, my team's doing good. Heimerdinger did kill the Draven. They should actually get the Bard. Maybe? Eh, I can just keep pushing. Not bad. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to 1v1 anybody that comes to bot lane. Uh, relatively easily. If I hit my spells. But you can see we've slowly transitioned into maxing Q. Because obviously that is your initial damage. And we're not really laning versus Heimerdinger anymore. So we don't need to have a big W to push him back. Because yeah, we're not really going against him. All right, my team should. I'm. I'm asking for help here because if they, if Tristana or someone slowly comes down, if the enemy team are on their way, we can kind of counter it. Um, because I don't actually have any vision right now, unfortunately. Okay, there's the bard. So the bard's had a very weird playstyle as well. Oh, we can kill her in a second. I'm pretty sure. 
I didn't really want to use exhaust on that, but I was kind of forced to when the exhaust, uh, the ignite on that. But I was kind of forced to when they exhausted me because my damage would have been basically nothing. No. A fitting prize. Uh, D Dikagi seventy seven X just subscribe. Thanks very much. I'd say Draven needs to be careful. So now we've moved Draven away from bot lane. It seems that he's doing a lot better. Maybe he's just not a good bot laner. Oh, they did rift with Heimerdinger and Lee Sin. Wondering like were they were where that. Yeah. He could be just going, by the way, straight into people right now, which he kind of is, if he's not careful. All right, let's get that Zonya. Yeah, so Draven's just not really thinking about where the enemy team is going to be. I'm getting a randomly used Rift Herald in the middle of the river. That's a bit weird. Uh, so we're just going to go mid slash top lane just to kind of counter their push. But yeah, this Draven, very questionable, uh, is play playing. Um, just kind of, I would say he's on the, the not thinking mode uh he's just playing league of legends without putting any thought into what he's doing which i'm gonna be honest as a specifically draven you can't do that as draven more than most champions because he's such an aggressive um champ if you muck up you die and if you do muck up really badly you're kind of screwed he's very aggressive that you want to get ahead are they are uh, killing him without me or not okay they kill him without me So the, the Rift Herald use was really bad also by Heimerdinger there. Using it in the middle of, like, the river. Nowhere near a tower. They're also doing Mountain Dragon, which kind of sucks for us, but, yeah. Alright, I think if we just group, we win. Pretty much that simple. We've got a Fed Tristana. We've got... I'm, I'm an okay Strength Morgana. I obviously could be stronger. I think Jax will turn on the Draven. Why, like, uh, the one thing I don't get is why are you going into melee range? Like, that's just terrible, terrible play. Oh, man. I shouldn't have gone in after they died. I thought I could have killed the Lee Sin, though. But yeah, I don't know why Draven's walking into the middle of them as a Draven. Like, Morgana sometimes is a Morg. You have to. Not that Lee Sin. Um... Because you're ultimate, but Draven should be not in the middle walking into a, a Jax. Jax is killing himself, maybe? Oh, no, Jarvan did. Weird game. You pretty sure he's inting? No, I don't think the Draven's inting. I just think he's not very good. Um, there is a difference there. Uh, inting would literally just be running into them without even trying to do damage. Okay, maybe he is inting. Okay, that is inting. That was... Okay, Twitch chat, you might be right. Where was the backup damage? She got bound. Oh, close. The commentator's curse. Yeah. Usually the commentator's curse doesn't really make people int, though. Oh, nice. Uh, like, I, I was giving this guy the benefit of the doubt. I didn't think he was inting. I really didn't think he was inting, but he's trying to prove me wrong, apparently. Still think we can win, though. Pretty sure. That 100% and in. Yeah. That, that what we saw there was inting. Unless he... Like, again, we have muted him because he was being annoying. Maybe he was typing... But, like, if you're running in while typing and you die, that still is inting. So, yeah. Group has five. We will finish them. Item build now moving forward is a bit awkward. Like, what do I do? Do I just go, like, damage? Like, if I go Ludens? Like, yeah, I think Ludens could go quite well because it will give me burst on my Q and that's kind of what I need. Like, Tristana's doing well, but I think she's actually killed herself by going too much alone. Um, so I'm just going to say keep typing the group as five thing. If in doubt, group. Oh. Ah, Zavenya. 
is Draven just not going to group anymore? Ooh, good dodge. All right, at least we survived that. But yeah, we just need to be five people. Caitlyn. And it, unfortunately, this is the strength from the Caitlyn that she's got from the Draven. Uh, Caitlyn shouldn't be this strong, but unfortunately she is because of just what's happened this match. So, yeah. Oh. So, while all this is going on, by the way, Jax is just allowed to basically split push, which is... Kind of annoying. Uh oh. Damn. Jarvan left us when we should have actually gone in. That was actually a good time to go in, but yeah. This game's rough. Don't do it again, Draven. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Where's Jarvan? You kill them all. Keep auto attacking. Keep auto attacking. Keep. There we go. There we go. Like this, this is a free win. Like I'm not just saying group for no reason. We do beat this enemy team if we group. Like 100%, we beat them when we group. Um, we have way too much damage, I think, for them to deal with. But in order to do that, we actually need to group. Um, it isn't just magically going. They're not just going to drop dead automatically. You know. We, we actually need to do something for it. So, yeah. There's the jacks. And hopefully my team figure out that. Hey, look. We kind of group. We killed all of them. Hey, let's do that more. That sounds good. Alright. We win. Sounds good, everybody. Victory. I can see it now. Hmm. Um, I don't want them to be top lane. I really don't want them to be top lane. Like, we should go... The reason why I want Mountain Dragon so much is look at our team comp. 280 carry team comp. Is that we would take objectives so fast if we even get a mountain on top of what we currently have. Um, but <laughs> randomly not paying attention, not looking to group or anything, it's kind of frustrating. Literally no movement. It's just so weird. Again, this to me is just people that either don't care about winning or just not thinking. It's either or. Uh, it can't be anything in between. That That's not naivety, you know. No one is naive to be like, oh, I, I, I'm i here, you know, uh, on purpose. I wouldn't think. Power thing is killing me. So if Draven was actually here, we probably would have aced them. Uh, but obviously Draven's not here. Damn. And they get Vision and Caitlyn ult. Okay, they are cleaning a little bit, the 280 carries. I don't know if they can do any more than that. Oh, they can. Yeah, they're going to kill everything. Again, this is my point. It's just group and we win the game. It's that simple. But uh, for some reason, people aren't just getting that memo. And we ace them. Again, if, that, if we're grouped from the beginning of the fight, you can guess what's going to happen. Because the reason why, by the way, is it, that's it's true in this game more than probably others is because of the amount of damage that we have. Like, yes, we've got an unconventional team comp. We've got a Tristana and stuff like that in top lane. But we have so much damage. So if we group as five, who is the enemy team going to focus? Like, there are so many of us that the enemy team have to focus. They've got to focus Triss. They've got to focus Jarvan. They've got to focus Morgana. They've got to focus Draven. There's four of us that they actually have to deal with. But if you're not grouping, then they just have to focus one or two. And that's easy. So, yeah. That's why, like, this game is very simple if we just go as five, man. Like, for us, all we have to do, really, to win is focus Caitlyn. I'm not scared of Heimerdinger because you just move away from his turrets. I'm not scared of the Lee. I'm not scared of Jax. That's the only person we have to focus. Way less targets than us. Way less targets. So when you just break it down and those, like, very basic principles, it's just obvious that grouping is the way to win. Hmm, good damage. 
Oh, they're bot lane. Two bot lane. Do the dinghy. All right. Baron, 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 Baron. There was two people bot lane. Team! I'm just starting it. Like, do the Baron. Jarvan, stop doing it. Wait, is Trisana suiciding? Yeah. Trisana. Okay, she got one kill, but she shouldn't, like, again, she's doing stuff alone when there's no reason to. And there's the Baron, everybody. Like, again, really simple. Nothing crazy play. Like, why aren't we going this way? There's two people up here. Oh, I got hit by that. No. Where's the Draven? What are you doing? <laughs> it's Draven. I am kind of thinking that the Draven doesn't want to win the game from what we've kind of seen this game, which is kind of frustrating. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. How do I find 100 ping? Eh, it's not bad at all. You just get used to it. It's really not bad. Like, of actual difference, it doesn't actually feel that different to my main account. Like, obviously, yeah, there is some, but not enough really to go crazy about. Because um, it's still stable. Like, it is jumping around a little bit, and the reason it's probably jumping around more than it normally does is because I'm streaming. But it's fine. Like, it's completely fine. Like, I'm going to say that I don't think this rating, on average, will be a reason why I do good or bad. I think it's fine either way. Like, he's overextended like crazy. They, The enemy team could just go there and there's nothing really the Draven could do. Get rid of the Banshee. Oh, Jarvan. Don't suicide. Whew. This game is on the, the the edge of, like, craziness, and it really shouldn't be. And I gotta go back. Um... Again, we can go for a counter engage that I think can go pretty well. Let's just get. Hmm, I don't know what to buy. Bards. Oh, go, go, go. Go, go. Look at the minimap, everybody. Like, Jax went for a teleport. Heimerdinger has left. Heimerdinger has left the building. Kill them. Team. Kill it. Holy moly. So Bard went mid lane and Heimerdinger went top and my team don't engage. It's like, ah, that's the time you go straight on top of them. You like, you don't even care. You literally just run on top of them and no one did. Ugh. This game is, uh, whew. interesting. <laughs> Opinions on Leandri on Morg. It's okay. Uh... It's perfectly fine. I would... Like, I might do it this game if I get really... Like, if the game goes a bit later. But I'm not really against tanks. Like, I don't, this Bard's had a weird playstyle too. Like, what Bard is doing is just distracting. He's distracting from them getting towers and stuff. Still dies, which is good. But we should be focusing more on the objectives than anything else. There's a tower. Heimerdinger probably dead. Oh, wait. Okay, so he's inting now, too. So this game, we've had an inting Draven at one point, and now we've had an inting Heimerdinger. Like, such a weird thing. And there's the game, everybody. So that should be the placement. Uh, I think this is placement game seven on this account. Oh, stressful game is stressful. Again, if you guys like this episode series, like, again, what would I say is different with the EUS and North America? 
I don't know if it's a difference, but I really think people just didn't want to listen to others. Like, again, the thing with EU West is I think people really want to win. Like, people try hard on EU West like crazy. I genuinely feel like, that, like a lot of points of this game, the Draven did not care about winning. Like, I, I, I honestly do believe that. And, uh, yeah, but we still win, so I'm happy about that. But, uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy the episode and you're enjoying the NA content, throw a like on the video as always. But let's go into the outro and see how much damage we did and all that good stuff. Uh, so welcome back, Twitch chat. You can say your goodbyes to the wonderful people on YouTube or to yourself, your future self. Uh, but there we go. We went 7-8. So we did go negative in KD. We went 7-8-10, 176. We've got a B overall. So that means we're six wins, one loss. And damage-wise, yeah, we did okay damage. Like, it was just kind of average. Like I said, though, is you can clearly see it kind of a little bit more here, is that when we were grouping, there were four targets the enemy team had to focus. Uh, Tristana, Draven, Morgana, and Jarvan. For us, it was mainly just Caitlyn. If we killed her, the enemy team didn't do a whole lot. Obviously, Heimer's, dang Heimer's damage isn't bad, but I wasn't scared of Lee. He did 4,000 damage. I wasn't scared of Jax. Didn't really do a lot. It was just mainly killing the Caitlyn, so that's why grouping was just really easy to win this game. And it's just kind of weird to see when people were just doing kind of odd things again we could it put we could put it down to the rating but i think it was just people that weren't just thinking uh so that's gonna be it hopefully you guys enjoyed again this video was sponsored by haste if you have not checked them out please do uh, it'll be linked down below it helps with your ping it helps me in this series a lot and also uh the free open uh, free open beta for haste is actually ending if you sign up now and then when the the the, the paid system comes in you actually get free free stuff and benefits uh, if you sign up now rather than waiting till it gets officially released uh, so that's gonna be it like if you like it subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys next time Bye.